Alright, hello guys and welcome to another video. This one is of me playing against Chris Perovic, probably the biggest name in Ghost Format by quite a lot. We're playing in a tournament match, uh, fighting for a world's invite. So this is a serious setting, for sure. I open the nuts with Graceful Charity along with the Serpent. And also Nobleman, which is very nice to open when on the draw. Chris just sets one pass. I'm going to lead with Upstart here. And now I get the Pot of Creed. So yeah, I'll play that. Okay, and now we go for the Charity. Here we go. So I'm going to discard the Serpent and one more card. I would think I might discard the Dekoichi or the Spy. Regeki Break. Sure. I mean. Okay. Let's use the Nobleman here. Sometimes you want to use your Nobleman before you do your Graceful Charity in case the opponent's monster is a Spy. So maybe that's a slight sequencing error, because I don't think there is any cards, any combination of cards I could have drawn where I'm not going to use the nobleman there. I just had to set the spy, which I think is fair, and I'll probably set the ring behind it. Yeah. And there's a soul exchange for Festalos. And now, despite me opening the nuts, I am on the draw, and that was a quite good exchange for them. So I'm not that far ahead right now. So I was very surprised at this point to see that Chris is playing Monarchs. Because popular opinion, at least on the Discord, among the competitive players, is that Monarchs isn't a good deck. Uh, this is a serious setting and Chris definitely wants to win. So, a bit surprised. Anyway, what to do here? I uh, could go for the BLS. Could simply use the ring. I think I might like the BLS here. I don't know. No, I decided to go for the ring, which I think is in part due to not having a clean answer to a snatch steal, which is fair, I guess. Worth noting is that I could have dealt 46 plus 3000 plus 14. That's 9000 damage. Did I just miss lethal? This little... No, this one is 34. No, 36. Sorry. Plus 3,000, plus 4. So I could have dealt 8,000 damage. But due to the upstart, we're at 9,000. So yeah, there was no game shot. So set the Dekoichi, right? And just pass. You could set the Torrential here. Because... Facing another solo exchange. That might be profitable, but it's quite bad against Breaker, so I do decide to set it. Go for Asura, yeah. And here, yeah, despite my strong start, I'm not that far ahead. And this is the power of Soul Exchange, of course, because it's a very efficient answer. So, what to do here? I could set the Regeki Break, but then I run into the Pro Heavy Storm. So, I think I might just pass. I decided to set the Serpent. That's a bit odd to me. I guess this is baiting out a soul exchange. And um, they haven't used the nobleman as of yet, so 
Yeah, I like this. This is nice. Yeah. This game was played, uh, I mean, less than two weeks ago, but more than one week ago. So I don't remember everything. I think I'll just let uh, this call resolve. Yeah. And we're going to target the set. And I'm probably flipping the torrential here to clear the body. Yeah. Nice. Return the serpent. Set the decoichi and break. Yeah, this is really nice. Like my spot here. Flip the decoichi. Thunder Dragon is an excellent draw. We will use that. Now summon the Belas to banish the set. Swing with the decoichi and. Hell, why not? We can set the serpent as well. That's a bit weird to me. Really holding on very tight to this Belas. I mean, it's it's fine. We do have the book, so yeah, yeah. Maybe that is better. I'm not so sure though. Yeah, I don't know. So at this point we just swing and set the book pass. So comes the Sura. I should not cycle the book here, I don't think. So I use it on the Asura. Yeah, I think that's fair. This does deal with the Asura. Yeah, just run over the Asura, set the serpent. Oh, is this a game shot? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay, so that's... That explains the Book of Moon. Yeah. Actually... I think I played uh, better in the game than my suggestions doing this commentary. So that was... Kinda nice. So I, I drew the nuts and... Um, Chris didn't draw very well and uh, as such I won. Let's see what their hand was. Metamorphosis, Brain Control, and Monarchs. Yeah. Okay. So Chris is going to go first again. And I open Pot of Greed again. Let's use the Thunder Dragon. And... Hmm, it's a bit tricky what to do here. Could set faith, it could summon breaker. I think I would just set faith, but I'm not sure. Hmm, maybe just summon breaker. I don't know. Let's see what I went with. I did summon the breaker. A very spawn to summon with the scapegoat, implying that they want the counter on the breaker. Which to me is just screaming snatch steal. Or brain control, I guess. Uh, I'm going to run over a token here, I assume. Yeah. Set the book. I mean, I could chain the book to the snatch. Makes sense to me. And here is the creature swap. And this I did not consider. So this is quite bad for me, frankly put. There's the Festalos, and it hits the Belas. So a couple of quite bad exchanges here. Draw the Dust Shoot, which I don't think is a bad one. Likely I'm just going to set Faith, set Dust Shoot. I could even set the storm as well. I don't think that's unreasonable. Perhaps a bit unnecessary. I don't know. I just want to empty my hand. Yeah, I did set the storm. Because I want a clean card destruction, right? So now we flip the dust shoot. So I saw soul exchange, 
Heavy Storm, Brain Control, Nobleman. Right. So we're likely going to use the Nobleman here. Yeah, we did. So I wonder if they should use the Storm. I guess not. Okay. So here I go for the duo. I don't bother picking any targets because I go for the card destruction. So we're going to draw one and I'm going to draw two. And I drew Kesar Sudikoichi, which is absolutely excellent. So yeah, once again, I've drawn really well. Now I set the Dekoichi and somehow I managed to lose from here. She's a bit weird. Declare the sorcerer, flip the Dekoichi. Yeah. Oh, I even go for the storm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's nice. Play the upstart. So I think it's just a result of me not being able to finish the game off fast enough. I wonder if I should set the assailant. Because very often Chris is just going to set the monster and then clearing it with the assailant is efficient. I didn't do so last turn. I don't know. Torrential I think has to be set. Yeah, okay. This is nice. And yeah, there we go. Ah, I top deck the graceful after setting the assailant, which is unfortunate. But hey, graceful is still a great draw. I think I should wait with using it. And I think I should switch the chaos sorcerer to put pressure here. Especially as I've seen like Royal Decree, maybe there's not even Mirror Force in the deck. Just pass. I want to save the Graceful until I have at least one more card. Choosing to keep two out of four is a lot stronger than choosing to keep one out of three. And they go for Metamorphosis. Yeah. And then we go for the ring. We did set up that quite nicely. I think I played well all in all, but yeah, that was unfortunate for sure. Yep. Yeah. Don't think I could have. I mean, I could have done quite a few things differently, but I think I played well. At least by my standards. And game 3. I kind of brick here. There's no good set. I think I'm going to set the assailant. Just because I have discard fodder as is. Yeah, that's a good one. So let's see what they hit. The faith. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I draw the Koichi, so a little bit dark. I think I'm just gonna have to go with the tribe here. Yeah. <laughs> but now at this point it looks a bit more pleasant for me. Yeah, and now I top deck the Graceful. So I have drawn so well, and I play against Monarchs. Discard Serpent Thunder Dragon, obviously. Play the upstart. Set the Koichi and set the ring behind it. Could also set break. Could set both. I think I'm just gonna set one though. No, I did set both. They went for Exile Force. Yeah. Right, add the Serpent. And now I think I should set the serpent. Yeah. Want to develop this thunder dragon. So, little with upstart. 
Uh, let's shoot with some Thunder Dragon and then play the Nobleman. Attack for 16. Set the dust shoot. Flip it. So I get to see Saborg, Pot of Greed, Zero Priest, Mobius. I think I could pick either Mobius or Zero Priest. Probably a Zero Priest, right? Yeah. So here we're going to be able to tribute some Mobius, which would threaten to pop both my back row. So my other alternative is to ring the Thunder Dragon right now. What this boils down to is I can either trade one of my Ragiki Break for the Mobius or not. And I think my Ragiki Break is stronger than the Mobius, so I believe I flipped the ring here. And they summon Festalus. So now I know their hand is Saborg Mobius. And yeah, first loss obviously resolves. Hits the chaos sorcerer, and I'm down to 2400. Going to return the serpent. So now my Regeki Break is live again. And I'm going to summon the BLS. No. Oh, because this is a game shot. Because I top deck the Sangen. That's nice. But since I'm losing this game, I assume that's a scapegoat. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I could have had a read on that. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, I'm still in a good spot. I can go for the BLS plus the Sangen here. And clear three of the monsters, and their hand is Saborg Mobius, and from there I should win most of the time. And they top deck the premature, and now up against a Saborg. Sangan grabs a fave, makes sense to me. So I'm just gonna set the fave, of course. And they top deck a reaper, which doesn't make that much sense. Um, which isn't that bad for me, I mean, <laughs> I meant to say. It's going to pick... The serpent. I'm going to play the graceful. I draw into Potter Creed card destruction. My opponent is holding a Mobius. Like, yeah. Okay, I'm going to discard uh, the Serpent, I believe, and probably the card destruction, because I don't have much discard fodder left without the Knight Assailants or the Thunder Dragons. Here I take, here I think for a moment, yeah. Now I play the Pot, of course. And here I should set the spy, set the book. Yeah. And they top deck another suborg. And honestly, I don't have anything. My hand is four bricks. We live just. Yeah. So uh, here I just know I'm lost. Chris is not going to be deterred from a game shot. I just do whatever. Because, quite frankly, I can't really get out of this one. I'm going to set the serpent and probably just set two behind it. 
Okay, I decided to set free. And they just attack. We're not buying it. I flip the book. Play summon Mobius. And that's the game, pretty much. Last hope is the spy doing something. But there's that Zero Priest. So, Chris wins the match. I thought this was a really fun match. And I don't think I played that bad. I think I played well. And I also got very lucky. I drew very well. I think I played well. By my standards at least. And I still lost to Monarchs. So, <laughs> that's Chris Perovic for you. Uh, very nice to have a serious match with Chris in a tournament setting. That's not something you get to do every day. And I thought I would share it with you guys. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, maybe test out the Monarchs deck. Chris and... Uh, his team at Smoker for the 3 vs 3 GFC that was played this weekend also played Monarchs in that one. Um, they put up a respectable finish, nothing amazing, respectable nonetheless. Right, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you for watching.